kitchen. And today I'm going to teach you a recipe about how to make my favorite dessert ever. It is the chocolate chip cookie. So I have a little twist on this recipe. I like to use gluten free for everything. So I have a bag of flour. If you haven't heard of Pamela, she's the best for gluten free. Um, there's another one called King Arthur that I really like. And you don't even know. You won't even know the difference between gluten free or not. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the recipe that's on the back. Um, it, they taste just great. But I have a little twist, and I'll get to that later. So for now, what's the first thing we should do before we start working with food? Wash our hands. Alright, let me do that. Okay, and then we need to do a little prep. So I'm going to turn on the oven. I think it said bake it at 350. And I have all my ingredients ready to go. So I am going to use melted butter. Um, a little easier than waiting for it to soften right now. So even though I could get some fresh eggs right here in our backyard, I don't eat eggs. So I'm gonna show you a different way to substitute an egg in a recipe. Sorry girls. Thanks for everything you do, but I'm just not gonna use your eggs. So oh, I am going to use a substitute called flaxseed. This is ground flax meal. And so usually it's one tablespoon and like maybe three tablespoons of water and, and let that soak and that's the equivalent of, of using an egg. It doesn't work like that for every recipe. Um, the fewer eggs the recipe calls for, then I can get away with this. Okay, so something really cool. It's like a little hidden, little secret here. Um, in this little cabinet, I've got my grandma's KitchenAid mixer that she gave me. Okay, so my other little secret ingredient, it calls for one fourth a cup of brown sugar and white sugar. So, I just use maple syrup. It has tons of sugar. You don't need as much sugar as you think. So usually I just kind of like cut the sugar in half. Nobody knows, I'm telling you. Alright, now I think I'm gonna let that mix for a little bit. It's pretty simple. I think that's all I need. I might add a little touch of salt though. I think the salt's just gonna help bring out the flavor. I don't even measure it, just kinda dab it in. I like Himalayan salt. Now that that's moving, we're gonna add in the three cups of flour. Um, okay, my helper left, so she was supposed to do the chocolate chips, so whatever, she, she left. I don't measure it because I go by like what um, what it looks like in there. That looks like plenty. So I'm gonna see you on the baking rack in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna use my little ice cream scooper. Measure out the batter. And then we'll throw them in the oven. All right, we got them. We're gonna put the first batch in. Um, I forget how long I'm gonna read. Every oven's different, so even if it says like 12 minutes, I still just eyeball it. Maybe I'll just do a little less because the worst part is burning them because you can't like take that back. So I just do 10 minutes, I'll walk away. I like taking them out a little early because they're still gonna cook on the pan. So I'm just gonna leave it to cool a little bit up here. They'll still get a little bit um, cooked or baked. And then um, we're gonna do our next batch. Okay, so now it's their turn to do the official taste test. Oh, it's good. You think so? Jenna, what do you think? This milk is better. Oh, okay. So we got two kinds of milk there. In case you don't do dairy, we got some almond milk gold, but it's really just almond milk. And uh, JT, what do you think? Mm. I'm going for two. They're really good. Okay. Because they're very fluffy. Good, I like that that adjective you used to describe it. Yes. Mr. Baker, what did you what did you think? Very good. Okay, so I forgot to mention 
Um, any, anyone who has me knows that I like to do an annual cookie bake-off um, tradition right around holidays. So a uh, special shout out to um, third period. Um, the winner for the cookie contest was Satchel Hart. He made the best cookie for that class. We all voted on it. And then uh, fifth period, Nohea Sharp. So great job. Uh, he won in that class. I think there was like a real close second with Bella Papalardo and Bella Fourth. Like really good stuff. Um, and then seventh period, Cole Fox. So all the boys won when we did our cooking contest this year. And I just want to give them a little special shout out because um, I just like baking cookies. So uh, hope you're doing well in this quarantine or shelter in place time. And thanks for watching.